Okay, what am I doing this morning? I previously cut this two meter length of EPDM, 180 millimeters long. It's gonna slide into the groove on the panel up there, and it's gonna be then stuck down onto that layer of tiles, and then I will tile over the top of it, forming a nice watertight barrier. What I have done on the back of the self-adhesive is to cut the insulation down. So as I push this into the groove, I will pull this off and it will stick in place. Well, that's how I hope it's gonna work. Um, the tools to assist me, I'm going to use this to try and push down the EPDM into the gap. And I have two rollers to flatten it in. And I might take it down a little bit um, onto the, the vertical surface as well. But for the moment, let's get it into the groove and get it fixed and make sure it doesn't fall out and slide down the roof. the first piece slipped into the groove um, what can I say if you're going to try this leave the backing on uh, and slide as much of it in as possible before removing it because where I took it off a bit too early it started to stick and I had to separate it from the groove to get it pushed to the back so on the next one, I'm going to be a bit more careful. It is pushed right to the back, but there were a few sticky moments, literally sticky moments there, when I thought it wasn't going to work. So now it's supported in here, and you see it's sticking, it's not falling out. So now I need to um, prime the area underneath. Um, so I will prime that now. That needs to, to dry a little bit. Um, and in the meantime, I will cut the next section ready to get that one up. Well, that's the second piece in. Um, didn't go as easily as the first one. Uh, and I made a bit of a mistake when I was pulling out the, the backing, which I've scored. I tried to pull it out from the top, which was ridiculous. I didn't want to come out and it got caught up and it added to my problems. So this time I'm gonna pull a tail, push it into the start and, and withdraw this from the bottom as I seat this home. Hopefully it'll go a bit easier. Well, that's the third piece on. I forgot to, to uh, press record, but it doesn't matter. Um, this backing strip, which I scored along that top, I pulled from underneath. So when I pushed it, the EPDM in, it went in smoothly. And then as I pulled this out, it, the, the tack with the primer meant it stayed in place. So this one went a lot better. Also, I cut a shorter length. This one was 1.5 and it was more manageable. Um, but I've got two more and I'll probably do it in two 1.8 sections to get this piece complete. And I'm aware that I need to get this done quickly and stuck down before any wind comes because it's a bit vulnerable at the moment.
Okay, I've now added a bead of sealant on the top of the EPDM where it enters into the groove. And I've used uh, a product, a black product obviously, uh, Building Product Specialist CT1. Unique sealant and construction adhesive. So it's an adhesive and a sealant and it's, I've used it up on the conservatory roof and it seems to work rather well bought this from Wix um, and it goes off in about mm, two to three hours.